What about placing speakers in corners? Hmm, okay. Zach in Utah is calling, or writing, sorry. He didn't call me. He could. Uh, hey, Paul, you've talked before about the best place to put speakers in a room, but I've seen a few high-end setups that place the speakers diagonally in a corner of a room, contrary to what most people would recommend. Can speakers work well placed diagonally in a room? I assume reflections would work quite differently, and in that case, would they help or hurt the sound? Yeah, I've seen, I don't think I've ever seen corner placements as like, because we're, we're talking about going all the way back here and placing them in this. And you, you can hear, probably, you can hear how my voice is changing here in the corner, right, as we talk. And then if I move away, it gets a lot less boomy, right? So corner placements definitely, and, and we don't have exact corners. These corners are walled off corners. They're, they're not the 90 degree corners that you would normally have in a room. Because the problem with a, a 90 degree corner is, is that it boxes the sound in. Now, there are, were speakers specifically made for corners, the JBL corner horns come to mind, and I've heard some decent sounding systems, some, actually, I should say really good sounding systems with JBL corner horns, but that's a long time ago, and perhaps that's what you saw, I, I don't know. Most speakers, we won't use these, these are just, these are great speakers, but ain't nobody putting these in the corner. <laughs> but your average box speaker, if you stick it in the corner, you're gonna have a lot of tonal problems. A lot of tonal problems, because they, it, it's, like a, it's, it's like a big horn, it's gonna just dramatically change the way that they were designed. Because when we design a speaker, whether it's this speaker or any other speaker, we're assuming that the sidewalls are not right next to it. They're not here. It would, it, you could design a speaker that way if you knew specifically it was made for corners, but we don't do that when we design a speaker, nor do any other manufacturers that I am aware of, unless it specifically says. So tonally, it's going to be a wretched mess. So don't do that. If you have corn horns, fine, so we won't talk about that. Now, the one place that I, well, and, and I want to cover one other thing. If we ignore corners for the moment because of the, the tonal difficulties, there are a number of people who like speakers diagonally facing the, 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 the um, sweet spot, the, the center seat, right? So we might be like this at a 45 degree angle, pointing right here, and then you know over here, the same sort of thing pointing right there. That is, is a fairly common uh, technique. I've seen that done a lot. It makes for a very wide sweet spot. I don't particularly like how it sounds in terms of imaging. It's not my favorite way of doing it. My preference is always straight ahead, rely on the off-axis sound field to work in your favor. If you need to, you can get just a hair of toe in and you do that to get the center image correct. And we're going to do a whole series, a whole series on speaker setup here pretty soon. I promise. We're going to have a CD you're going to get. Um, you, we'll, we'll, we'll sell you the CD or you can, you can uh, I don't know how we're going to do it. But, and then we're going to walk people through how to do speaker setup and room setup. And that's going to be kind of cool. But as far as corners, Avoid them unless you have speakers that are specifically called corner speakers, and then they have tonally been compensated for the, the corners. And the only exception to that is subwoofers, of which we will talk at a different time. In fact, I think I have a question coming up about corner subs, so we'll, we'll go through it then. All right, thanks for the question. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have fun. Bye.